Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make the volitional form. Basically, how to say let's do something in Japanese. Informally and formally. So, I already did make this lesson, but I wanted to remake it because I wanted to include more examples. And also, simply, I looked very dead in the video. My life was kind of hard back then.、Um, <laughs> so, I hope you don't mind that. And I promise you, this video is going to be better. Anyway, let's start. So, let's start with the verb to start. To start, we say. Hajimeru. Hajimeru. And when you want to say let's start, we would say Hajime yo. Hajime yo. So before I say anything, I want to take a look at these two Hajimeru and Hajime yo and see what's different. Easy, right? Ru became yo. So basically, when you want to say let's do something informally, if the verb has iru or eru endings, you change the last ru into yo. Okay? So, hajimeru, it has eru sound, right? Hajimeru becomes hajime yo. Let's start. So, for example, to eat is taberu. Taberu. Right? Again, it has eru sound. So, let's eat. Tabeyo. Tabeyo. So, for example, let's have lunch together. You can use this verb, tabeyo. So, the verb always comes at the end of the sentence. So, you already know that tabeyo comes at the end. So, before tabeyo, you want to say lunch together, right? So、generally, we want to put the object, in this case, lunch, in front of the verb, like object or verb. So we know that in front of tabeyo, lunch would come. So that means together would be right at the beginning of the sentence. So together we say, ishoni, ishoni. So ishoni, lunch. Hiru gohan, hiru gohan. Remember, hiru, noon, gohan, meal or rice, right? So, makes sense. Issho ni hiru gohan o tabe yo. Issho ni hiru gohan o tabe yo. This sentence is informal, right? Casual. So, that means we can also omit particles. So, we omit the o particle a lot when speaking informally. So, you can also say, issho ni. Hiru gohan tabe yo. And that sounds very native like, very natural. Issho ni hiru gohan tabe yo. So, did you notice the intonation was kind of like a question, right? Issho ni hiru gohan tabe yo. And this sounds like an invitation, right? You can actually change the intonation a little bit and say, tabe yo, tabe yo. So, do you hear the difference? Tabe yo and tabe yo. Tabe yo. And it's kind of like, do you want to have lunch with me? And, tabe yo, let's have lunch. Let's eat. Tabe yo. So, tabe yo, kind of like question like intonation definitely sounds nicer. And also, it's more like a suggestion and invitation. So, it does sound like the listener has an option, right? As tabe yo, it doesn't mean it's rude or commanding. But, tabe yo just sounds nicer. You know, it's kind of the same in English. If someone says, let's have lunch together, it's nice, right? You know, someone invited me, great. But some people might feel like, uh, no, I can't really say no. Like, it's not like, can we do something together? Or do you want to do something together? It's, let's have lunch together. So, it really depends on the situation or. or Or depends on the person you're talking to. Like, it's, if it's the person you've been hanging out with, you know, all the time. Like, tabe yo, that's fine. Or you already are sat at the table and you want to say, now let's eat. You can say, tabe yo, right?、Uh, but if you're inviting someone, tabe yo sounds nicer.
Anyway, another example with the either either ending verbs to watch. Mire, right? Mire. So let's watch. Mio, mio. So how do you say let's watch a film? Film, movie. We say. Ega, ega. Remember, we do write e i ga, but e i sound always becomes e ga, e ga. We don't really say e i ga, e ga. So e ga o mi yo. So this e i becoming e is really important. To remember because did you notice that I don't say tabe yo. Like we don't pronounce u strong. When you see this o u sound, you also pronounce it like o, the long o sound. Tabe yo, mi yo, hajime yo. You don't say hajime yo u, tabe yo u. Remember these two for now. E i becomes e, like the adjective polite. We say te ne na. In hiragana, it does say te i ne i na, but we pronounce like te ne na, te ne na, okay? And o u becomes o. So we don't say yo u, we say yo, yo. Although, if it's just o u sound, not like o u plus something, so there is a verb yo. Which means to get drunk or to get emotion sickness, then you have to pronounce it like yo, yo. But if it's like o, u, plus something more, you say o, o. For example, high school, we say ko, 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 ko. Again, we do write like ko, u, ko, u, but it's ko, ko. Okay? But again, if it's consonant plus o on its own, nothing else afterwards. You do pronounce the u. Like, ko u, you don't have to remember this verb, but ko u means to beg, and you have to say ko, ko, not ko. Okay, anyway. E ga o mi yo. Let's watch a film. But again, if you want to make it sound like an invitation, suggestion, you can say e ga o mi yo. E ga o mi yo. And if someone says that, you can, for example, say, uchi de miru, e ga kan de miru. You want to watch it at home or at the cinema. Literally, it doesn't say do you want to. It's just will we watch it at home. It's just simple future tense. But yeah, and you can say, hmm, let's watch it in the cinema. In this case, you don't have to repeat the object film, right? You just say at the cinema, let's watch. So. For this sentence, we say at the cinema. Ega kan de, ega kan de, and then let's watch. Mio, mio, ega kan de mio. Okay, so now we know how to conjugate the ire er ending verbs. Let's see how we conjugate other verbs. So, for example, let's go. We say iko, iko. So, what's the dictionary form of the verb to go? Iku, right? Iku. So, iku became iko. So, again, before I tell you what changed, can you guys guess? So, iku became iko, right? So, you might be thinking like ku became ko. Yes, it did, but you should remember. That you actually just change the last u into o again, u into o. So this time not yo, but o o. So it's easier to see if you write it in romaji. I k u right iku, and then you change it to I k o u iko iko. So if you just started learning Japanese and if you are not confident at all, don't be afraid to. Write the verb in romaji as well. I'm not saying just in romaji. Hiragana and romaji to see how the verb should conjugate. So iko, let's go. So that means all the ku endings, yeah, does become 
ko, but it's not like it's changing because it's ku, and that's why you get ko, but it's because any other verb other than iru eru would have this o sound. So, for example, let's go to Kyoto. You'd say to Kyoto. To. We use the ni particle, right? To indicate the direction. So, Kyoto ni. Kyoto ni. Always place first, not ni Kyoto. Kyoto ni. And then let's go. Iko. Kyoto ni. Iko. There was this really famous art that everyone knew. And the catchphrase, the slogan of the campaign was Soda, Kyoto ni iko. <laughs> Soda is something you'd say when you come up with an idea. Like, Soda, ah, oh, I got an idea. Soda, Kyoto ni iko. So it's like, hmm, I got an idea. Let's go to Kyoto. I want you to try saying this to your Japanese friends if they are not too young. They should know this catchphrase. So da, Kyoto ni iko. And maybe they'll chuckle at this. I would actually be really shocked that you know that. And I'd be like, haha, omishiroi. Funny. Anyway, Kyoto ni iko. Let's go to Kyoto. What about the verb to speak, to talk? Hanasu. Hanasu. So, can you guess? Had to say, let's talk, let's speak. We'd say, Hanaso, Hanaso. Again, if it was hard for you, write down this verb, Hanasu, in Romaji, Hanasu, and only change the last U into OU. Hanaso, Hanaso, but don't pronounce Hanaso, uh, right? Hanaso, so. And you know, in English, let's talk means the speaker wants to break up with you, right? <laughs> but in Japanese, hanaso doesn't really mean anything. Like, just let's talk. Hanaso. For example, if you want to say to talk in Japanese, you say Nihongo de hanasu. So let's talk in Japanese. Nihongo de hanaso. Nihongo de hanaso. Remember, we have to use the de particle because it's like an instrumental thing. De can mean like by using, using something, right? Like to eat with chopsticks. We say hashi de taberu. You're using the language to talk. So, ego de hanasu, nihongo de hanasu. But remember that you can also use the o particle, like ego o hanasu, nihongo o hanasu. And that means to speak Japanese, to speak English. So it's really like the difference between to speak English and to talk in English. Ego hanasu just focuses on the fact that you are speaking that language, whilst ego de hanasu, you're having a conversation in English. Okay, what about to buy? Kau, kau. So, u becomes o. So this one is easy, right? Kau becomes kao, kao. Remember, kao, it's not longo, but kao means face. So it's weird, but like, let's buy a face. <laughs> you could technically say kao, kao, <laughs> kao, kao. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe not funny. Omoshiro <laughs> nai. Anyway, kao, let's buy. So, for example, let's buy a house. You can say, Ie o kao. Ie o kao. Okay, what about to wait? Matsu. And this one is a bit hard, right? So, in Japanese, we only have five vowels, right? That means we only have five T sounds. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. We don't have so sound, so matsu wouldn't make sense. We say mato, mato. Let's wait. Mato. So if you want to, for example, say, let's wait for another five minutes. Then, do you know how to say five minutes first? Five, we say, 
go go right and we can say five minutes we say go home go home okay go home and if you say go home mato it means let's wait for five minutes but if you want to say let's wait for another five minutes we say ato go home mato ato go home mato it's confusing because ato can mean like after if you say ato de like mata ato de means see you later or ato de shukudai o suru ato de shukudai o suru means i'll do homework later but yeah ato gohun like ato plus amount ato futari two more people ato jukai ten more times anyway ato gohun mato let's wait another five minutes all right the next one is also tricky a lot of people make a mistake with this one how do you say to take a picture we say shashin o toru shashin o toru just focus on toru how would you change this toru into let's take we say toro toro if you said toro nice if you said toyo no okay so toru does have ru at the end right like taberu miru but it's not an iru eru ending it's oru so like i said in japanese there are five vowels a i u e o right so iru eru are only two of them so three are left right aru uru oru so they conjugate differently from iru eru aru uru oru conjugate like other verbs so which means you change the last u sound into o sound toru toro it's important that the r sound stays toro so let's take a picture we say shashin o toro shashin o toro so if you want to say let's take a picture together do you remember how to say together issho ni issho ni so issho ni shashin o toro issho ni shashin o toro so another verb do you know how to say to ride or to get on for example on the train or to take taxi we say noru noru so for example to ride the bicycle to ride the bike we say jitensha ni noru jitensha ni noru it's important to remember that it requires the ni particle so for example let's ride the bike we say jitensha ni noru jitensha ni noru again it's not noyo right noru noru so how do you say let's ride the bullet train so bullet train we say shinkansen shinkansen so shinkansen ni noru shinkansen ni noru yeah so noru noru toru toru and other verbs like uru to sell uro as well or naru to become naro let's become naro like let's become rich you can say okane mochi ni naro okane money motsu is to hold so like okane mochi money holder <laughs> okane mochi ni naro let's become rich but there are obviously exceptions the verbs to do and to come they are irregular verbs so suru and kuru become shio and koyo so for example let's study to study we say benkyo suru right benkyo suru so let's study benkyo shio benkyo shio so let's study japanese Nihongo benkyo shio. And if you want to say let's come, you'd say koyo, right? So for example, let's come here again. You can say again first. Mata and then here. Koko, 
coco. In English, you don't say let's come to here. You say let's come to this place. So you have to think more like that. Coco still requires the ni particle. So coco ni koyo. Mata coco ni koyo. Mata coco ni koyo. But actually, we don't really say coco ni. Like in English, you say let's come here, let's go there. In Japanese, we tend to omit here and there. So we say mata koyo. Mata koyo. That's enough if it's clear from the context. So we are still here, then it's obvious that I'm talking about this place. So, mata koyo is perfect. Mata koyo. And also the verb that has kuru, like motte kuru, means to bring something. So let's bring snacks. You can say snacks or bring yo, right? So, Snacks or sweets, candy, we say okashi, okashi. And then to bring again, we say motte kuru. And then motte kuru becomes motte koyo, koyo. So you can say okashi o motte koyo, okashi o motte koyo. And if you want to make a dajare, Japanese pun, you can, for example, make a sentence let's bring a coyote. You know, the wolf-like animal. <laughs> so, koyote, we say koyote, koyote. <laughs> you know where it's going. But, actually, motte kuru is only used about bringing an object. So, when you bring someone or a living thing, you have to use the verb tsurete kuru, tsurete kuru. Don't worry, it still has kuru, so we can make that pun. <laughs> but tsurete kuru. So for example, to bring your friend, you say tomodachi o tsurete kuru. So I will bring my friend. Tomodachi o tsurete kuru. If you say tomodachi o motte kuru, uh, it sounds like you're treating your friend like an object, or you're gonna lift up your friend and like bring your friend like this. Yeah, so it's wrong, okay? So tsurete kuru. So you can say, so let's bring coyote. We say, coyote o tsurete koyo. <laughs> coyote o tsurete koyo. But if you want to complete this pun, make it perfect, <laughs> you can add te at the end. Coyote o tsurete koyo te. <laughs> so this te, I have a lesson on this, but this te or to can be used to quote something. This on its own, especially when speaking informally, it means I said, like I already said. So it's like, I told you let's bring a coyote. <laughs> so, coyote o tsurete coyote. Am I the only one who's laughing? I hope not. <laughs> All right, so that's how we make the volitional form for informal speech, right? So, ire rending, you change ru into yo. So, to sleep, neru becomes neyo, let's sleep, let's go to bed, neyo. And for other verbs, except for the irregular verbs, suru kuru, you change the last u into o. So, let's sing, uta u becomes utao utao to write kaku becomes kako kako to hang out asobu becomes asobo let's hang out asobo and suru becomes shio kuru becomes koyo right and now let's talk about how to make the volitional form for formal speech so this one is easy. Once you've learned the mas form, for example, taberu becomes tabemas, right? All you have to do is change the mas into masho, masho. So tabemasho is let's eat formally. Tabemasho to go. Iku the mas form. Ikimas, let's go formally. Ikimasho. So it still has the o sound, right? Ikimasho. Iko informally. Ikimashou formally. What about to speak? 
Hanasu. The must form. Hanashimasu. And then let's speak. Hanashimasho. Hanashimasho. To sit down. Suwaru. And then the must form. Suwarimasu. And let's sit down. Let's have a seat. Suwarimasho. Suwarimasho. To do. Suru becomes. Shimas. Right? Shimas. So let's do. Shimasho. Shimasho. And to come. Kuru becomes. Remember. Kimas. Kimas. So. Kimasho. Kimasho. Let's come formally. So this is a bit tricky, right? So to suru becomes shiyo, shimasho, right? But kuru becomes koyo and kimasho. Okay, now what happens if we add some ending particles? So you can, for example, add the ne particle, the yo particle, and the ka particle. So let's start with the ne particle. If you say iko ne, for example, iko ne means let's go, yeah, let's go, okay? So it's like asking for the agreement, confirmation, affirmation, right? So it's like, okay, yeah, iko ne. So do you remember how to say, let's come here again? Mata koyo, right? And actually adding the ne at the end makes it even more natural. Mata koyo ne, mata koyo ne. Let's come here again, yeah? Let's come here again, okay? And next, the yo particle. The yo particle is used to get the listener's attention or to tell something new to the listener or you can also say that it adds an emphasis. But anyway, and if you, for example, say iko yo, it is a bit stronger than just iko. So iko yo is like, hey, let's go. Depending on the tone, you could even sound like you're impatient, right? Ne iko yo. I'm like, hey, let's go. Ne means already, hey, but ne iko yo. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Let's go. Let's go already. Iko yo. But you can also say iko yo to mean like, hey, let's go. You know, it doesn't have to sound annoying. Iko yo. For example, you're looking at a magazine with your friend and you see Hawaii on the page and you're like, oh, Hawaii. Iko yo. Like, Hey, let's go! Or he was like, come on, let's stop it. Then the verb to stop, yameru, and yameru becomes yameyo, right? So you can say yameyo yo. Then it's like, come on, let's stop it. Or let's not do it. Yameyo yo. You know, if you hang out with your friends and your friends want to do something crazy and you want to be like, no, let's not do it. You can say yameyo yo. So yo is like, hey, please listen to my opinion, right? And now, very important one, ka, adding ka. By adding this ka, you can make shall I and shall we sentence. So tabe yo is let's eat informally, right? Tabe yo ka means shall we eat? Tabe yo ka. And often this u turns into small tsu. Tabe yo ka. Tabe yo ka. And that means, shall we eat? Let's eat, shall we? Uh, but if you change the intonation, if you say, tabe yo ka or tabe yo ka, the intonation is important, but also the context is important too, right? And you can, for example, point at your friend's food and you say, tabe yo ka, then that means, shall I eat it for you? So this yo ka can be used to offer someone your help. So your friend or Misa says, ah, kyuri kirai, I hate cucumbers. <laughs> then you could offer, you could say, sono kyuri tabe yokka. We use sono because you're pointing at someone's food, right? Sono kyuri tabe yokka. Shall I eat your, shall I eat that cucumber for you? So yeah, and I'll be like, onegai shimasu. <laughs> Yeah, so can you hear the difference? Tabeyokka. 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 
ka? And the verb to help. Tetsudau. Tetsudau. And then the volitional form. Tetsudao. Right? Tetsudao. So if you say tetsudao ka, tetsudao ka, it means shall we help? Let's help. Shall we? So it's like I'm saying that to my friend. Shall we help that person? Tetsudao ka. Well, tetsudao ka means shall I help you? Tetsudao ka. You might think, oh my gosh, the intonation is so hard. But it's usually clear from the context, so don't worry. Tetsudao ka. Shall I help you? Or shall I carry that for you? Shall I hold that for you? You can use the verb. Motsu. Motsu. So, motsu, again, tsu becomes moto. Moto, right? So, moto ka means shall I carry that for you? Or shall I hold that for you? For example, kaban moto ka? Shall I carry that bag for you? Sano kaban moto ka? And formally, you can do the exact same thing. Mashou ka can mean shall I and shall we. So, tabe mashou is let's eat formally, right? So, tabe mashou ka means shall we eat? Let's eat, shall we? And tabe mashou ka? Tabe mashou ka means shall I eat formally. So tabe yo ka, tabe mashou ka. Shall I eat? Tabe yo ka, tabe mashou ka. Shall we eat? So you might often hear hajime mashou ka, hajime mashou ka. Shall we start? Like jugyo o hajime mashou ka. Shall we start the lesson? But if I say, Jugyo o hajime mashou ka? Then it's like, shall I start a lesson? I don't know. Shall I? <laughs> what about, Kai mashou ka? Kai mashou ka? I mean, shall we buy? But if I say, Kai mashou ka? That kind of sounds like, shall I buy it? So depending on the person, at the cashier, maybe they won't offer anything to pay <laughs> just because you mess up the intonation it's like you wanted to split uh, the bill but you end up saying shall I kai ma ka uh, and then you might end up paying on your own but again it really depends like kai ma ka can mean shall we buy like depending on the context so don't don't worry too much <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Jaa, mata ne. Bye bye.